Hello, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste in music, and I am absolutely amazed. Um, this this really is something that does not happen a lot, and I know you might hear that a lot on YouTube. Oh, this doesn't happen. Listen, I'm okay. Here, let me get. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. Let me give you a bit of context, okay? In the last month alone, I've received 1,100 song requests and about 50 album requests. This was among streaming for like 16 hours at a time uh, at points, doing nothing but listening to music. On these streams, unlike I feel like a lot of other people's streams where they do kind of similar things, uh, there is actually not a ton of artist submitted requests, songs made by the people sending them in. Um, and I definitely don't think that's a coincidence. Because for the most part, it's, you know, music sent in by artists that are already established, well-known, well, critically acclaimed or whatever. But you see, the artists who are submitting are basically being placed in between these well-established artists with massive budgets or, you know, again, with, with already a strong understanding of a community like or a fan base. And as a result, I feel like the artists who send in their music, there is basically a lot more pressure to send in something because I will just put it bluntly, I don't give participation awards. Uh, when an artist sends something in, I will judge it in the same way that I judge everything else. It comes down to this. Do I like the song? Do I think you did well? Would I listen to it again? Would I listen on my own in any regard? And I feel like another reason why, you know, many artists don't send in stuff that I'm like a, a massive fan of in general, because again, I, I tell you that like I've heard a lot of artists submitted songs, very few have really grabbed me and been like, oh, there's, there's really something here. And I think it's because the streams inherently are not designed for that. A lot of the artists who send stuff in, I feel like they are looking for criticism, they are looking for advice, or they just, you know, are like, uh, you know, this is cool little stream, let me throw you what I've been working on. So yeah, very rarely does an artist actually send in something that I would consider a masterpiece. In fact, I'd say um, it, it almost never happens. Like, ever. However, sometimes these universal always rules uh, have some interesting ways of bending. Maybe an artist is very proud of what they've made, uh, you know, and they just want to share it. Okay, well, a lot of the times, you know, it's still got some issues and, you know, could have some polishing here or there, but, you know, all right. Sometimes the artist is way too harsh on themselves and they make something that's pretty great, um, but they don't really know that it's great because they're you know, too busy beating themselves up. And as a result, yeah, this song's it's really cool. I, I like what's going on here. So that's what basically brings us to today. Um, I have three albums for you, uh, two of which I have explored due to one or two songs sent in on stream um, that have grabbed my ear, that I've connected with from the artist, and I've said, okay, let's see what the full album experience is. Uh, going in fully expecting the songs to be, you know, that were sent in to be like, oh, okay, this is like they're sending in the best song, you know, the rest of the album, it's kind of whatever. Um, just to be met with something that is so much larger than the individual piece sent in that I was left completely stunned. This is not a common occurrence. And it's amazing that all three of these albums that I'm about to show you have all occurred in the last year. These are all albums that I think are just as good as many other projects that I love and I return to regularly. Um, again, made by people in the community. Stuff that I will be returning to, stuff that I will be trying to gain more understanding of and a deeper experience with. Again, I am baffled that this is real, um, <laughs> that there were th even three albums like this. Considering I've been doing this for years, there's, there's three albums. Holy shit. So yes, this is rare. Please understand that this does not happen regularly. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's uh, <laughs> let's start with the first one. His brain keeps bothering you. First album I'm talking about, Cluster uh, Everchance. This project I was avoiding listening to, even though I absolutely loved the song Us Pretender sent in on stream. I think I gave it a nine. I sent it into the Hive Mind stream. It's something I was listening to a lot. I put it as a highlight in terms of the last, you know, uh, recap video. Um, however, I did not check out the album because it seemed like from the reviews, which were pretty mixed, mostly around four, like a four to a six out of 10, uh, that yeah, it, it doesn't live up, you know, to the singles or the little individual pieces that I heard. 
Um, so yeah, I avoided it until today, where I'm like, okay, I really like this song. I gotta at least give it a chance, right? I gotta give this album a chance. And look, maybe not everybody is going to get the same experience out of this thing, um, but I genuinely think this album is fantastic. And I'd love to explain why. Listening to this project, I mean, at first I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, uh, I like the first handful of songs and whatnot. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. Uh, maybe people were, you know, wrong about this this project, but then by the end, I'm like, you know, this this really took me under. And kind of reminded me of the first time I heard Peaceful as Hell by Black Dresses. Uh, something that, again, I feel like is very rough around the edges, but uh, left just an unbelievably powerful experience. I love how this album is locked into this warped and fuzzy sound. Um, it finds also joy and bliss uh, throughout it, uh, basically feeling like, you know, struggling through vines and being tangled, but at the same time content and playing around in this space. And a big reason why this works is the awkward vocals. The vocals are going to basically make or break your experience with it. In my opinion, they make it. I think that they are the glue of this project. I think they make the whole thing work. They are the reason why I am not taken out of the experience because a lot of these electronics on their own um, could come off as a little bit gimmicky, but I think that the voice here is extremely distinctive. And hearing this voice, uh, this sort of awkward and very emotional voice, uh, overcome and transcend the overbearing uh, sound of this project is incredible. And it really feels like overcoming and like accomplishing something by the end of it. The transitions between songs are seamless. The songs individually work like they feel like their own thing, but they all tie together and never like let go of this sound and feeling uh, throughout the entirety of it. And yeah, I, I, I mean, honestly, for me personally, um, I think this is one of the defining albums of the internet age in general um i think that the album cover matches very well with the sound and the very broken feeling of this project uh yeah I, look i know not everyone's gonna care for this or love it um, and i would imagine that this is probably the most polarizing of all these albums um but i think this thing is remarkable um and i and i really think that what is going on here um i i can only speak for myself but it, it really connected I think that it's extremely well done and should not just be written off because of of flaws. I, I really think those flaws are worth celebrating throughout it. Um, I'd say it's a solid 9 out of 10 for me. Um, this album is 100 minutes long, and it basically feels like you're entirely in the hands of the artist here as they are pretty much moving things that's what it feels like visually it's it's very choppy it's an ambient um techno album and you can really just feel these heavy detailed textures moving like mountains and like uh like paint scratcher just like navigating that um and yeah it is kind of a very you know behind the curtain list and um, where you are able to kind of see the person creating the experience and a lot of this is because it is an improvisational album um, but it also comes with major benefits in doing this, uh, specifically on-the-spot emotional moments. This project is an absolutely stellar emotional roller coaster. Um, there can be very long, drawn-out songs that feel like self-reflections, and just uh, the repetition of it can feel like being locked in an emotion. Uh, there's a 20-minute ambient song that also is just very well textured, has an amazing drone to it. Um, that feels like it's cold and slowly changing, and it, it also was one that I really connected with. And yeah, the, the final track is also just absolutely stellar. Um, but yeah, it, despite the fact this album was so long, I enjoyed basically like the majority of it. It was something where I was able to sit through and self-reflect and think of my own experiences. Yeah, it's, it's a very skillful and engaging project, and um, when I heard this, I, I wanted to make this kind of video, but... I uh, wasn't too certain, and then I heard this next album we're going to talk about, and I was like, okay, yeah, there's got to... And then I heard the album we just talked about, and then I was like, all right, I need to make this video. Um, I'd give this album overall a 9 minus. Bug, uh, 33 recurring. I love that this album title, the cover, everything reminds me so much of Godspeed. The first song reminds me so much of F.A. Infinity. 
Um, but it also, at the same time, it's like it branches off very quickly um, past this. My first time listening to this album, I was doing other stuff, and I got very little out of it. I was like, okay, it's kind of interesting and whatnot. Um, but what really happened, you know, that, that I feel like changed things for me is I was like, okay, I see a lot of very positive reviews. And by very positive, I mean like tens, nines across the board, you know? I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll lay down. I'll restart the album. I didn't even finish it. I was like, I'll restart the album and just try to visualize stuff. And boom. Um, yeah, this album is fantastic at that. This is one of those sit down and really pay attention albums. Um because it's not boring. In fact, it's so remarkably dense and textured that it could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any album like this. Um, there is layers on top of layers of odd sounds creating basically this freeform jazz landscape. Uh, there's like strings, you know, weird tapping, doors opening and closing, barking and tons of other stuff that I feel like will just come out of nowhere, but also just sort of guide an experience. Um, upon returning and you know, giving it a full shot, its first song, it's like I'm in a mansion, you know what I mean? Like haunted mansion, there's a voice kind of guiding me and things are a little weird and blurry. And eventually it's like I fall out of that and I'm in a new space, but because everything is so warped and so natural feeling, um, it, it really feels like that's part of the experience, is like falling in and out of it um, and just like picking up the pieces and trying to gather them and uh, figure it out along the way. Um, oh, and this album was made in Audacity. Yeah, I, I'd give this thing a, a 9 plus. <laughs> a 9 plus out of 10. Um, this is remarkable. One of my favorite album listening experiences in a minute. Um, really visceral. Yeah, this, this, this shit was so cool. And yeah, those are the three albums that I just basically needed to talk about. Um, it's going to drive me crazy if I don't. I, I've been in a situation where I feel like I've heard some artists make some amazing stuff and I've had an opportunity uh, to talk about them. And I didn't, and I ended up really regretting it. Um, I, I don't want that to happen again, because, yeah, the, these people are making just absolutely stellar work. Uh, all very different in style and sound, and I would again say all very worth checking out. Um, my name is Bradley. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.